Greetings. This is Elder Black Light. We got to do this exposing leadership. Black leadership is failing us, black institution. Then you got the YouTube pimping. Brothers on YouTube living real real easy. But what they're doing is they're destroying black power. They destroying black consciousness. See, this generation don't know what kind of war that the ancestors have been fighting. They don't know who's down with the program and who's not. And we don't have the kind of leadership today that we need to have. Especially in these times. So I took it upon myself to uh, expose I'm Elder Blacklight. I got I got the qualifications. See, because I, I, I was born in the nation back in 1946. I was listening to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in my mother's stomach or the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. My uncle introduced my mother, his mother, my grandmother, and his sister. He tried to entice his two brothers, older brothers, but they were Haston Street gangsters up here in Detroit and they didn't go along with the program. My mother's father was a con man. So I've been on both sides of the street and living in the Caucasian world and I know what he uh, brainwashed us with, programmed us to. I'm qualified. And so, uh, let us get started. I'm going to comment after. That Mr. Farrar did not look outside of religion to put his ideas together. Mm -hmm. He looked at Christianity. He might have even looked at the Hinduism. I don't know. Jainism. Who knows? But I know he looked mostly at Christianity as given in the Bible. Okay? And the Bible says of Christ Jesus, peace be upon him. Not that we follow this, but I'm giving this mm -hmm. to show for influence, perhaps influence, uh, Mr. Farrar. Our Master Farrar. He was a master psychologist. He knew how to deal with people with problems and help them. Okay, so um, he, he, I said, looked at the Bible too to see what can he get from the Bible to help a people who are already in the Bible. We were in the Bible. We believed in the Bible in the church. And he found that, that Jesus said, uh, it is said of Jesus, part me, that he took mud and he put on the blind man's eye, and the blind man right away could see mud on his eye. That's what Farad did. Mm -hmm. He put mud on our eyes. No, I think uh, to, to keep us from seeing what we were seeing before. Right. And once the mud is washed off, we can see Islam, we can see the Quran, we can see Muhammad. So there is uh, no question that the, the uh, either to through the, the myth or through the methodology. Yes. Uh, he, methodology. he was an important p person. And, and no one will disagree. He asked the question. Look what Farad did. 
He treated all of his, all the people who would come in the yes. temple of Islam as students. And he said, what means and method? He asked the, he asked mm -hmm. the question, what means and methods must be used to solve our problems, to wake us? If he asked plus, the question himself. Plus, according to what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said to us, Master Farad Muhammad gave him 104 books to study. And Elijah Muhammad said to me, the best of those books was the Holy Quran. And the Yeah, so Minister Farrakhan know how to play to the uh, Orthodox Muslim audience to gain uh, legitimacy because Minister, uh, I mean, Imam Wafdeen and uh, Minister Farrakhan uh, had abolished uh, the nation of Islam and he made a uh, he met Wolf Dean, made Farrakhan his representative. And so now they 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 on uh, Islamic TV explaining themselves. If you look at the root of that history, you will see that uh, it was an overthrow. overthrow and uh, then Minister Farrakhan seen that uh, Wallace he could have a better chance of uh, getting the remnants of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad by starting a uh, program up again now he's done went full circle came back around and he's uh not even teaching islam anymore he's teaching christianity the way the enemy teaches it to us and uh all the programs and the planning of black hospitals and black farms and black businesses. I know that uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was getting ready to take over the whole south side of Chicago with a Muslim community. If that would have happened, to my estimation, you wouldn't see all that gang violence. All of uh, Chicago would be, all the youth would be either FOI or employed in a Muslim businesses. Now he built, getting ready to build a hospital. He, he was asking for uh, engineers. He was getting ready to do some building. And this is what they were supposed to carry on, but instead they dismantled everything. Went over to the Arabs, the Orthodox, pale Arabs, and you see what's happening over there. The news tells who was right and who was wrong, and who's still wrong and who we should have followed. The news, look at the news. Look at all that war over there. Iraq, since uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad made his transition, Iraq then fell, Libya then fell, Afghanistan, uh, Syria, Saudi Arabia, and then the Nation of Islam 
is reduced to fragments. And the brothers are still fighting each other. And I know so a whole lot of y'all brothers, some of y'all follow Wolf Dean, some of y'all follow Farrakhan. Y'all say, who is this brother here? He wasn't in it. Man, I was born in it. Islam is something, a Muslim is something that you are automatically. But when you get corrupted by this uh, wicked world, if you let this corruption influence you, you're going to get all mi mixed up, turned around. So, unless you come back to your right mind. So now these, these young ones coming up, you know, we can't let this false representation of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad continue. So we exposing this black lights. Stand stands stay tuned. We're gonna hit the rest of them. Just gotta be patient.